morning, friends. I'm so glad to see you this morning. Well, as you may have noticed, we are one owl short today. I have some bad news about Gus. He is at the animal hospital. You see, he and Violet were playing their favorite game, see who can fly around the house the fastest, and there was a little accident. What was that? Oh, Violet says it wasn't a little accident. She says it was a traumatic high-speed crash, complete with screaming, crying, and a lot of flying feathers. Yikes. Well, I, I guess it's a good thing we took Gus over to the animal hospital then. In fact, I just got an email from the vet with an x-ray of Gus's wing. Do you kids know what an x-ray is? It's a picture of the inside of you. An x-ray machine makes it so the doctor and the vet can actually see your bones. Pretty crazy, huh? Well, let's see what Gus's x-ray looks like. I'll put it up on the screen for you. Yep, those bones definitely not supposed to look like that. Well, I guess now that he got his x-ray done, I can go and pick him up, right? What was that? I can't go and pick him up yet? Well, why not? Oh, uh, Violet says that getting an x-ray doesn't fix the problem. It just shows what the problem is. We still need the vet to fix the problem. You know, there are some parts of the Bible that are kind of like an x-ray machine. Wait, what are you doing, Violet? You're standing on the Bible so you can see what your bones look like? No, silly, that's not what I meant. I meant that an x-ray machine makes it so people can see what the problem is, right? Well, that kind of reminds me of a group of Israelites from a long time ago. They had just finished helping Nehemiah rebuild the walls around the city of Jerusalem. The people had been scattered all around, but now a lot of them had come back. Ezra, the priest, gathered all the people together, and he read God's word to them. At that time, they didn't have the whole big Bible that we have now. It hadn't happened yet. They did have the law, which Moses had written down. And the longer Ezra read the law, the more upset the people got. It was like an x-ray machine. It showed them all the things that they were doing wrong. And that made them very, very sad. Finally, Ezra told the people, this is a happy day. You can have joy in God. When the people understood that God was going to forgive them, they cheered up and went to have a big party together. Thankfully, nowadays, we don't have to follow all those rules that Moses wrote down. I think I would have trouble even remembering them because there were so many. But when we read the Bible, we see that Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment. And that was to love others the way that Jesus loves us. You know, it's a lot easier to remember, but still pretty hard to do. The Bible is an amazing book. There's stuff in here that can encourage us when we're sad, help us know what to do when we're confused, and even be like an x-ray machine to show us what needs to change in our lives. But most importantly, the Bible tells us that Jesus is our savior, that he loves us and he came to make things right, and that we can be friends with him right now and forever. What was that, Violet? You'd like to go visit Gus at the animal hospital. Oh, I see you want to tell him you're sorry for distracting him during the race. Yes, yes, I, I'm pretty sure that shooting tail feathers in his face does count as cheating. Okay, all right, let's go make things right. But first, let's pray together. Bow your head, Violet. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Bible. We're so glad it helps us know all about God and what he's been doing in the world. Thank you that the Bible tells us how to please you with our lives and that it reminds us that we are always forgiven and loved by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, friends.